Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's trading session for European markets, Monday the 14th of uh, May 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can download the uh, the actual uh, apps at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the market, the FTSE all more or less finishes uh, lower a week on the day. Uh, again, oil prices more or less flat, so we can't really... Uh, pin it on oil um, in terms of the news flow more or less uh, neutral uh, other than the fact that we have concerns regarding palestine at the moment israel palestine certainly escalating there so again watch out for potential kickback there uh, u.s markets certainly gapped higher uh, certainly haven't made much of that gap higher other than the nasdaq really and that certainly is being helped by the zte news regarding trump so in terms of the markets, I mean, let's just look, look at sterling again for you, uh, give you an intra, uh, give you an insight given the inverse relationship now. Given the fact that sterling is into support on the daily chart, and uh, given the fact that the uh, the market certainly is, uh, is is obviously very sensitive to the drop in sterling or the movement in sterling, uh, with sterling now in being into potential support, one would presume that the FTSE certainly would would come off, and that certainly is the case. So one would uh, certainly have a negative bias on the uh, FTSE 100. Uh, also, in terms of oil prices, let's just look at Brent for you, folks. Here we go. So Brent oil still a positive day thus far. Looking at a 15-minute chart now, potential exhaustion. Let's just have a look here. Certainly uh, push to new highs. So again, one could certainly hard to argue to the contrary there in terms of oil. So just bear that in mind. Again, I mean, you had a potential double top, so a double top certainly could still occur. Let's just see if this market can clear the path there and certainly move higher. But again, watch out for Brent. A top in Brent equals a top in FTSE. A bottom in Sterling equals a top in FTSE as well. So those two factors are going to be quite instrumental and key. Okay, other than that, we did have some hawkish rhetoric from Mr. Lochtenslager, Mr. Preyer as well. Also Mr. Bullard as well, same. But then again, one could have got a count with that and that state that he did mention the inverted yield curve and... He was indicating a potential overshoot in terms of the hawkish stance. So, again, let's see. Let's just see. Okay, now we have a potential speech. Uh, we, we did have a spread potential speech from Mr. Pryor. Uh, he did indicate that uh, growth certainly was cooling. Okay. Uh, so, again, that certainly is a cause for concern. Okay. Uh, so, with regards to the uh, market there as well. So, again, watch out in terms of the uh, movement in the euro too. Euro has nosedived. Let's just quickly go to the euro USD. Again, the inverse relationship between the euro and uh, European equities certainly can't be ignored as well. So certainly something to keep an eye out for. Euro certainly has pushed higher. 60-minute chart and the euro certainly pushing higher. Now we have coming to resistance here. The inverted head and shoulders on formation obviously was in play. We had a bearish engulfing candle ever since that uh, potential uh, concern regarding growth or cooling in growth. So keep an eye on the uh, euro USD here. Okay, keep an eye on the euro USD. So. Again, the, the rally in the euro from 1.184 to 1.2 certainly hasn't deterred European equities, although the German DAX has been under some pressure ever since we uh, closed that gap. So let's, we'll certainly uh, obviously look into that further as well. Okay, so that's the status quo. In terms of real economic fundamental news, nothing major other than the fact that obviously we had a central bank speaker. So German DAX, let's start with that. German DAX daily chart, I explained previously, uh, we're into gap fill support, so therefore one would uh, uh, certainly expect resistance, and we're between that Fib 61 and 75% of the weekly chart, and therefore look for potential resistance. 60-minute chart ever since we made that double top scenario and broken out of this bullish channel, bias certainly remains on the very side. One would now expect a potential lower higher than obviously a lower low. Uh, lower low. Look to test 12.890 and then look to test potential 12.850. And if obviously the market continues to flush, then you have that gap fill at 12.670 or 12.690. Okay. 10 minute chart on the German DAX still oscillating. We bounced off that double bottom, uh, bounced off gap fill. Okay. So watching out for double bottom for now. Again, we're making lower lows and lower highs. Okay. So again, using your pivot alert high to pivot low, you're looking at retracement of Fib 61 and 75% in order for that lower low to occur. So watch out below, that's all I can say with regards to that. Okay, moving on, French CAC. Daily chart is into resistance. Again, uh, French CAC certainly been helped by the strength in oil, given the fact that the uh, French are quite heavily um, 
uh, indebted or not indebted, should I say, heavily um, skewed towards commodities. Okay, the daily chart certainly watch out there in terms of uh, resistance. Uh, we fail to make higher highs, so again, that certainly is something to watch out for. Although the, the strength in the French CAC has been quite impressive, to say the least. Okay, so one would uh, certainly expect that. One would certainly respect the strength as well. Okay, so again, looking for potential um, a movement here. Let's just see if we're looking at resistance around the 5545. Watch out for resistance there. Terminate chart does have gap fill at 5545. Okay, you've got a uh, gap fill at 5540 as well, and gap fill at 5544. So 5545, 5540 is a solid resistance level. If you break through that, then you have to respect uh, and give uh, give some. Um, Credence to the bulls, okay, but for now, bears are certainly are dominating given the fact that the euro certainly is finding support. So, watch out there, okay. Now, uh, looking at the FTSE 100, uh, again, I've actually taken out a short position here on this HS formation, okay, looking for the FTSE certainly to roll over here given the right shoulder. We've put held that to potential resistance at 7726, now looking for a lower high. Given the ongoing concerns, now the FTSE failed to make a new high today, even with the uh, bullish news regarding China trade war rhetoric being toned down. Uh, Trump certainly making or paving the way for ZTE certainly is interesting to uh, to uh, to observe. Okay, uh, now looking for this right shoulder to hold up at seventy five percent. Okay, so that's a summation really of European indices. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus and uh, certainly download the latest. The app via the trade signal. Go by now.